Hello and welcome to the Bible with Brisco 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Brisco, and today we're going to be covering Exodus 31 through 33 and Matthew 22 1 through 22. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, <laughs> Amen. Bezeld and Oliva. Exodus 31. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom and understanding, with knowledge and with all kinds of skills, to make artistic designs for working gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Moreover, I have appointed Ohalem, son of Ashimash, of the tribe of Dan, to help him. Also, I have given ability to all the skilled workers to make everything I have commanded you. The tent of meeting, the Ark of the Covenant Law, with the atonement cover on it, and all the other furnishings of the tent, the table and all its articles, the pure gold lampstand and all its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offerings and all its utensils and basins with its stand, and also the woven garments, both the sacred garments for Aaron, the priest, and the garments for his sons, when they serve as priests, and the anointing oil and fragrant incense for the holy place, they are to me make them just as I have commanded you. The Sabbath. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You must observe my Sabbaths. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come. You may know that, uh, so that you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. Observe the Sabbath because it is holy to you. Anyone who desecrates it is to be put to death. Those who do any work on that day must be cut off from their people. For six days work is to be done. But the seventh day is a day of rest, Sabbath rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day is to be put to death. The Israelites are to observe the Sabbath, celebrating it for the generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of the covenant law, the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of God, the golden calf. Exodus 32 When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come, make us gods who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses, who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. Aaron answered them, Take off all your gold earrings and that your wives um, and your sons and that you daughters are wearing and bring them to me. And so all of the people took off their earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took what they handed him and he, and he made it into an idol cast in the shape of a calf, fashioning it with tools. Then they said to these, he said, 
these are your gods, Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. And when Aaron saw this, he built an altar in front of the calf, and he announced, Tomorrow there will be a festival to the Lord. So the next day the people rose early and sacrificed burnt offerings and presented fellowship offerings. And afterwards they sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in revelry. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go down and be cause your people whom you brought up out of Egypt have become corrupt. They have been quick to turn away from what I commanded them, and have made themselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. They have bowed down to it, sacrificed to it, and have said, These are your gods, Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. I have seen these people, the Lord said to Moses, and they are a stiff-necked people. Now leave me alone, so that my anger may burn against them, and that I may destroy them. Then I will make you into a great nation. But Moses sought the favor of the Lord, his God. Lord, he said, why should your anger burn against your people, whom you brought out of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, it was with evil intent that he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to wipe them off the face of the earth. Turn from your fierce anger, relent, and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, to whom you swore by your own self. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and I will give your descendants all this land I promised them, and it will be their inheritance forever. Then the Lord relented, and he did not bring on his people the disaster that he had threatened. Moses turned and went down the mountain, with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands. They were inscribed on both sides, front and back. The tablets were the work of God. The writing was in the writing of God, engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, he said to Moses, There is the sound of war in the camp. And Moses replied, It is not the sound of victory. It is not the sound of defeat. It is the sound of singing that I hear. Then Moses approached the camp, and he saw the calf, and the dancing, his anger burned, and he threw the tablets out of his hands, breaking them to pieces at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf the people had made with burn, uh, and burned it in the fire. Then he ground it into powder scattered it on the water, and made the Israelites drink it. He said to Aaron, What did these people do to you, that you led them into such great sin? Do not be angry with me, my lord, Aaron answered. You don't know how prone these people are to evil. They said to me, Make us gods who will go before us. As for the, this fellow Moses, who brought us up out of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. And so I told them, whoever has any gold jewelry, take it off. Then they gave me the gold, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. Moses saw that the people were running wild, and that Aaron had let, let them get out of control and so became a laughingstock to their enemies. And so he stood at the entrance to the camp, and he said, Whoever is for the Lord, come to me. And all the Levites rallied to him. Then he said to them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Each man strap a sword 
to his side. Go back and forth through the camp, from one end to the other, each killing his brother and friend and neighbor. The Levites did as Moses commanded, and they did that that day about three thousand of the people died. Then Moses said, You have been set apart to the Lord today, for you were against your own sons and brothers, and he has blessed you this day. The next day Moses said to the people, You have committed a great sin, but now I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. And so Moses went back to the Lord, and he said, Oh, what a great sin these people have committed. They have made themselves gods of gold. But now please forgive their sin. But if not, then blot me out of the book that you have written. And the Lord replied to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. Now go, lead the people to the place I spoke of, and my angel will go before you. However, when the time comes for me to punish, I will punish them for their sins. And the Lord struck the people with a plague because of what they had did with the calf Aaron had made. Exodus 33 Then the Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought up out of Egypt, and go to the land I promised on an oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I will send an angel before you and drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, Presbyterians, Havites, and Jebusites. Go up to the Lord of the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go with you, because you are a stiff-necked people, and I might destroy you on that, on the way. And when the people heard these distressing words, they began to mourn. And no one put on any ornaments, for the Lord had said to Moses, Tell the Israelites, You are a stiff-necked people. If I were to go with you even for a moment, I might destroy you. Now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do with you. And so the Israelites stripped off their ornaments uh, at Mount Horeb, Horeb, the tent of meeting. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp some distance away, calling it the tent of meeting. Anyone inquiring of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. And whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose and stood at the entrance to their tents, watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and stay at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. Whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance to the tent, they all stood and worshipped each at the entrance of their own tent. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Then Moses would return to the camp. But his young aide, Joshua, son of Nun, did not leave the tent. Moses and the Glory of the Lord Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me of your ways, so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember, that is this nation 
is your people. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, because I am pleased with you, and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me in your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. And I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, You cannot see my face, for no one, no man, may see me and live. Then the Lord said, There is a place near me where you may stand on a rock, and when my glory passes, I will put you in a cleft in the rock, and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand, and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. And that concludes Exodus 31 through 33. Now we will be moving uh, to Matthew. Uh, in the New Testament, to Matthew 22, Matthew 22, the parable of the wedding banquet, Matthew 22. Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had invited who he had invited to the banquet to tell them to come, but they refused to come. And then he sent some more servants and said, Tell those who have been invited that I have pre prepared my dinner. My oxen and fatted cattle have been butchered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they paid no attention and went off one to his field, another to his business. The rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. And then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those I have invited did not deserve to come. So go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. And so the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, the bad as well as the good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came into the to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. He asked, how did you get in here without a wedding clothes, friend? And the man said, he, the man was speechless. He did not say anything. <laughs> then the king told the uh, attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are invited, but few are chosen. Praying uh, paying the imperial tax to Caesar. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him in the word, world, trap him in his words. They sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians. Teacher, they said, We know that you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You are swayed by others. You aren't swayed by others, 
because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus, knowing their evil intent, said, You hypocrites, you are trying to trap me. Show me the coin used for paying the tax. They brought him a denarius, and he asked them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? Caesar, they replied. Then he said to them, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. And when they heard this, they were amazed, and so they left him and went away. And that was Matthew 22, 1 through 22, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022, or 2023, sorry, for today. Uh, tomorrow we will be covering Exodus 34 through 35 and Matthew 22, 23 through 46. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, God will we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Father, I just thank you for your Word. Because with if, if it were not for your Word, I cannot be your messenger of the Word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Please like and share. Send this to all those people that you know or that you think need to hear the word of God. Thank you and have a blessed day.